Bloody hell. It's just a mini squall come through then. Put a jumper on. Now it's boiling hot again. Catch it in the Yeah, normally. It's a bit dirty. Yeah. They got some rain though this morning. Yeah. I was down here yesterday, this is all green. The river was beautiful. I was in the boat. Yeah. All the fish are on the edge. I thought, you know what? I'm just going to go down here for a couple of hours and clean up. Well, hopefully they're still here. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Absolutely. I'll be watching you. Yeah. <laughs> Take long. Let's show the other one. I'm on the board. <laughs> yeah, it didn't take long. Nah. They get. They get big here too, there's some big ones in here. Oh hell yeah. Yeah. That is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I've only been here a couple minutes, eh? Hey? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Yeah, I call it urban fishing. I, I put the GoPro on. Yeah. And like, I'm a roof plumber by trade, so I work all over Sydney. Absolutely. So I carry a rod with me, I put the GoPro on. And you know, like people wait all their lives to have that holiday, go fishing. It's like, hey man, you do live in these units. Grab a little rod, come down here. Okay, yep, yep, yep. A lot of people don't know that. Yeah, I know, <laughs> I know. So, anyway, I'm gonna keep fishing, man. Over it, over it. I know it's <laughs> I went out in the boat yesterday and we found them, we found fish all along the edges. I thought, well, why not come back to your land base today? And uh, I woke up this morning and Parramatta's had 30 mil of rain in the last couple of hours. The fish have still got to be here. But uh, whether they're around pipes or just work on these rock walls I don't know and find out probably not the best tide to be walking around with thongs because oysters everywhere it does look good though I think the only way I can cover this properly for the next sort of half hour to an hour well, it's up like this. It's ripping shallows across these mangroves. Can't see why they'd be out there. I think they'd be here. Oh, there's one. I'll take that back. Yeah, I'll get them as well. Awesome. Oh, I've still got my rubber. I might uh, try one more. It's only a little fella. But there's lots of little guys in the river this time of year. It's just the way it is. And then those big ones just appear be part of the tide where they'll just roll through this area and, and just appear. I'll go around there and give one more cast and then we'll switch. Come on mate. I just wanted to waste my gold before I put a hard body on. And it seems to be just loaded with little juvenile fish on this point. Hey, 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 you talking to you. Mate, we're not going to get it anywhere until you settle down. Now, I'll see what you've done. You double barb yourself. Thank you. Swim away, little guy. I'll get going to hard bodies.
Yeah, if you're new to the channel, in these videos, I try I always try and give fishing tips, you know, like stuff from life experiences. For example, here's a tip here. See, see how sharp they are? They're deadly sharp. Now, when you walk through this stuff, I put my hand here because I've been stabbed with this stuff. And you're better off being stabbed in the hand than you are down there. So there's one of my fishing tips for the day. So that just got me in the hand. And the other is I was recently asked, uh, one of the comments was what line would I recommend for fishing like the way we do. And what I use and highly recommend, and you gotta remember I'm not affiliated to anyone, but I, it's the Shimano Kariki, I think it's called, and the Oshia Shimano Oshia Leader. The combination just works. It, 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 the knots are great, the strength's great, and your wind knots come undone with the wax coating on the braid. So there's my tips for the day. I'm gonna go back fishing. In all my videos, not all my videos, but often you'll see through my videos, you'll see these, the coconuts. Uh, for 30 years now, I've been pulling coconuts out of every creek I fish, every nook and cranny. And the other thing I do is I collect balls for my dog. I love looking for old stuff, you know, amongst the new stuff. And I just love the whole vibe of urban fishing. I love the interaction that I have with other people as I fish. And I love that thrill of that whoosh on the hard body or on the plastic or on the blade as well. So that's what we're after now. Oh, I feel like someone just lashed around that then. The bad side of urban fishing, guys. Needles. Chuck a block full. Um, I'll have to take that now, picked it up. It sucks. <sighs> uh, that goes in the bin. That little box says chock a blocks full of uh, syringes. So you just gotta be aware you are in Sydney when you urban fish here and there's some weird and wonderful stuff you'll see while you fish. Yeah, I'm just trying to do a little page to welcome we've got a lot of new subscribers to the page and sort of always been a little underground page of mine where just a few local guys follow it oh do that that was a good fish damn missed him anyway what i was about to say was when it comes to fishing i try and put on my page there's pretty well no set of rules to fishing. Like see right now, I've got a double ball sinker, worm hook. There's no rules, there's no regulations. All I can give you is tips that have been successful for me and reasons why I do what I do. That felt like a really nice fish. He's not coming back for seconds, but he was a good one. Anyway. Yeah, I, I sell the marks for guys to hit the uh, like button. I feel a bit creepy about that. But now they've taken the thumbs down button off so you can't tell. I figure every video I'll tell you what my last video did. I got two thumbs down on the last one. If you do like it, well, good. Oh, you're a lot bigger than that, buddy. Come here. Yeah, when it comes to fishing, if someone gives you a tip, take it, and it works, keep listening to them. And then, there should be a reason for everything. Now, it's too windy to get the hard body working properly, so I put a double ball sinker on. There's another one floating around here somewhere. It's sort of heavier than what I normally use. And put a gulp on just to go searching. So that's why I've done it. But after I take this fish off, I'm actually going to change the hook to a smaller size and put a Z-Man curl tail on so I can uh, get more of that hard body impact, like the keep the double sinkers on it so the tail really rips down it. Come here, mate. 
Hey, stop it. If you open your mouth, the hook will fall out, buddy. Oh, you had to get me. The little ones are the worst. Ah, twice he got me. Oops. Twice you got me, you little turd. Alright. Let's let him go and uh, get on with our day. Straight away with the switch. It's only a little tiny fish. He's only very small, but why I switch to the corner of the jaw where the hook is and the weight of that uh, the two ball sinkers there the reason for that was to get that curl tail really pumping and then oops, then what we do is a technique called the ermo twitch which is just three sharp hops like a prawn lifting up 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 away from a fish and then he drops so that's the rig there not a very good picture I mean they're very small brim a bigger brim come along you, you just got no say in uh, in what uh, you're going to catch but that was the reason why i switched to the curl tail and that was pretty well the next cast after you've seen that i was i did 10 15 casts with a hard body no results so i knew i had to change i definitely made the right choice for changing to the to the uh, oh yeah to the curl tail i think it's side hooked in but Getting into the more fun size. Yep, that curl tail's made a huge difference. Settle down, mate. Alright. There's my little brim. Oh, he just pooed himself. I'm gonna let him go and try and get another one. Now, I could probably go switch back to the hard bodies again, but what I've got is that chase going. And I'm casting across these mangroves and bouncing them. Look whack 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 up and the beauty about this plastic is well I've chosen the Z-Man if I rig it up I'll show you hold on the type of rubber it is I actually have the hook in the rubber not on the outside so it just rolls around all the rocks and everything and uh fish are just smashing well, that's pretty good I've had about four or five casts for two fish with it sometimes I ignore signage that's not I'm a law abiding person but I mean look around you there's no one here I don't care if security cameras watch me Quick video guys just a bit of a thanks for uh, subscribing and for the new guys that started watching the page I am trying to attempt to answer all your comments now I was shocking last year but this year I'm gonna make a big difference oh, the water looks better down here so it's muddy in the river now so I presume they're all up here Everything you'll see on this channel is uh, just all the really weird, wonderful things that I find along the river. Oh, this is a Betty Boop clock.